How long has it been since I put on a Tuotomotoshi dress? I honestly didn't know where to post this video. I didn't know if it should be on the main channel or on the second channel. I feel like it's a little bit strange that I just like found these Tuotomotoshi dresses. But at one point, Tuotomotoshi dresses were basically my only personality trait. So I was buying up lots of dresses for videos and giveaways. And I guess when I moved homes, these just got put in a box and I forgot about them until now. I think the last one I had the absolute pleasure of put on was my wedding dress. It's almost a year ago now. Wow, time flies. Time flies when your house is infested with mold and asbestos, am I right? And now that I'm just looking, it's also a Larika Matoshi box. So I don't even know what's in there. I guess we're gonna figure out. Let's get into it. Okay, the first dress, I actually do know what it looks like. But okay, so this is very different than the other dresses we've tried from Tuota Matoshi because this is a blazer dress. Just as glam, just as beautiful, but such a different style. Usually we try like the classic princess to the floor gown and it's got like the A-line really poofy, but this is more like a structured, business moment. This is just so beautiful. I've never had anything like this. It's full iridescent looking sequins because the fabric is pink, but the sequins are like clear. So they create this like shimmery look. It's all of these like white clear sequins. So beautiful. And not to mention these buttons here. I mean, have you ever seen something so beautiful? Those are the same buttons going down the front as well. I mean, I think this is so sleek. I love the pink and I think the silhouette is something we've never really worn before. So let's try it on and see what we think. Wow, I'm flashing everybody. Okay, few things. This bruise on my knee, or not bruise, it's like a scab. Don't worry, I just tripped and fell walking on a flat piece of ground. I kind of feel like I just ran into RuPaul's closet and grabbed a blazer jacket and threw it on and I'm like seven years old wearing an oversized jacket. But I also kind of am saying that in a good way. Like, I don't know, does it look like I'm swimming in this? Because I think this is how it's supposed to look. I'm just not really used to it. It's like very boxy. Favorite part for sure is the pink, the sequins, and these buttons. These are just so beautiful. I don't know where to go to sources these. I need a direct contact immediately. I flail around a lot. So I think I would either reveal my top half or my bottom half if I did genuinely wear this because there's only one button and it's right there. So I have the opportunity to like spread out and have that completely open. I also have the opportunity to stretch like this and completely reveal my top half. So I think I'm gonna need to add a button here and add one here just to prevent that flashing. I think it was designed with the idea whoever's we wearing this is like regal and put together and doesn't flail around, but little did they know I would be buying it. Cause like even if I sit, like look at when I sit. Look at me! I'm completely revealed! Am I supposed to be wearing pants? Oh wait a minute! I think I'm supposed to be wearing a skirt with this. Okay, take back my review. But this is beautiful. I love this. I'm kind of curious to dive into this Larika Matoji box because I don't remember at all what this is. And if you're thinking to yourself, how do you buy things like this and not know where they went? Basically just put yourself in my headspace of shopping for videos. And just remember, none of these dresses ever go to waste. A few years back, we went through every single dress and donated, I think it was just under a hundred gowns to four different charities. And since then I've been collecting a lot more dresses and we're gonna do either a charity auction with it or we're gonna donate a bunch more. So don't worry, all of these dresses will go to a better home. I'm not just hoarding them away for myself and never wearing them. They actually go to a good place. Okay, so this is Larika Matoshi. Yes, sister to Tuota Matoshi. Okay, I actually remember this. I think at one point I was gonna do another Larika Matoshi video, but then I never got around to it. It's a tulle teal skirt, tulle teal. And then here is the matching top. It's a one shoulder moment. I really fell in love with these tulle pom-poms. Now the pom-poms are a little bit crushed. You can tell the difference. This one is like kind of crushed, whereas these ones are perfect. Look at these. So we'll see what it looks like. This is so 
so cute. Stop. If I was ever a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race, which will never happen, but I can manifest it, I would wear this. This is such a show-stopping piece. I feel very inspired by the 80s. Like 80s, but make it new and a little more silly in a good way. It's also fitting really, really well. Like it's actually comfortable. I know it doesn't look comfortable, but it actually is. And I love the asymmetry here. I love this. I love this blue. I love the giant tool pom-poms. I wasn't expecting to like this this much, to be honest, but I love this. Okay, back to the two to dresses. Oh my gosh, I remember this. This is literally the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen in my entire life. It is all these sequin flowers. We have like a dark purple to a lighter purple to like this salmon tone because it's not all the way to the floor. And then there is this lavender velvet belt. I really like the straps that are like this where you tie them into a bow. This is just so beautiful. Oh, there's still pins in it, look. They were like really rushing it out the door. Free pins. Oh my, this is a dream. It's so unique and so beautiful. My immediate only pointer is, it looks like I'm naked, kind of. Not really, like just a little bit. This fabric is kind of the same color as my skin tone. Oh my gosh, this belt, it's tightest loop is actually out like that. That's weird, because I bought it to my size. That's really weird. The belt like doesn't match the fit of the dress. Like it should be right like that. Hmm. I mean, that's not a huge deal. I can poke one of these holes, but I'm shocked by that. You would think that would be a perfect fit. Well, okay. This is pretty, it will be fixable. This top is very signature Tuota. I love the sleeves. It's so whimsical and beautiful. It is in fact a T length, as you can see. Every detail is beautiful. It's all stunning. It's perfect, Tuota did it again. This isn't sponsored by the way. I bought these with my own money. I just have a problem. The last of the forgotten dresses. This is definitely one I could actually see myself genuinely wearing and keeping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is not the fabric I was expecting. I was almost expecting it to be like a cotton. I don't know why. So basically it's a high neckline, poofy t-shirt sleeves and a collar. And it is this sunflower print. I swear, Tuota just has the keys to my heart. Like, are you kidding me? And it's T-length, it's such a puffy, fluffy skirt. Well, I always wonder if I could make something like this. Let me throw this on. And here's this beautiful dress. I didn't even realize, but there is literally a slit here. My mom just noticed it. I did not realize that. It's kind of a unique spot, just big enough to show my skin me. This on face value might look like a little bit of a simple design, but there are so many little details going on here. Like, look at this, these little pleats here. So unique. The poofy sleeve is way more poofy at the top than at the bottom. Like it's filled from the top with like a stiff material so that it shoots up. It is all very purposeful and beautiful. Only critique on this, and I always kind of feel this way with like organza fabrics, is at the seam, they're a little, little itchy. And I guess I've been pumping too much iron because this elastic is like tight around my arm. I think I could wear it out though. If I just went like this for long enough, I think the elastics will give out. I am loving this. This is such a beautiful fabric for this skirt. It's so flowy. Look at that. Look at this magical moment. Wow. So dizzy. So, so, so dizzy. So dizzy. But this is beautiful. Tuota's dresses always look just as beautiful in real life as they do in the product photos. They are beautiful. <sighs> well, that was another Tuota Matoshi dress with a feature from Lurika. To all the people out there who enjoy watching these princess dress videos, I hope you enjoyed this video. I literally feel like a weight has been lifted because I knew these were in my storage and there shouldn't be gorgeous dresses just sitting on a shelf. They should have their moment. I'm sure these dresses that are in this video will have another moment, whether they're donated and used for people's graduations or prom dresses, or they're put into a charity raffle where the money goes to a great cause. You will definitely see these dresses in the future. And who knows, maybe I'll get around to wearing one somewhere someday, maybe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the second channel. Make sure to let me know down below which dress was your favorite. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next one.